Hey guys, Roger here, and when it comes to buying a gaming mouse, there are a few things that I'm personally looking for. For example, one thing that's important to me, and I would imagine it's important to many other people, is that it's comfortable to hold. And this gaming mouse from Abconcore really is comfortable. It looks cool as well because it has RGB, and it's also fairly cheap. You see, being cheap isn't always a good thing, but I do honestly believe if the balance between price and features can meet somewhere in the middle, normally the result is a product that's worth buying. And I think that's exactly what you get here with the Astra AM6 RGB gaming mouse from Abconcore. And while we're on the subject of Abconcore, I do want to give them a big thanks for sponsoring today's video. Also, if you're new here, please consider subscribing to the channel so that you don't miss my future videos. So in the box then you get the Astra AM6 mouse, a very basic manual, and also a CD with the Abconcore software for Windows. If you've never seen a CD before or you don't know what to do with that, don't worry, you can download the software from their website. So I have fairly big hands, and this mouse does feel quite big. The dimensions are 70 millimeters wide, 127 millimeters deep, and 35 millimeters in height. And it's made of plastic, of course, but it feels solid and you can see that there's a nice matte finish on the top and the sides have more of a glossy or shiny finish, but I've had absolutely no problems with grip or anything like that. Typically I use a palm grip, but I actually think for people that hold a mouse with a fingertip or claw grip, this is still going to work out well. Underneath you get standard Teflon feet, so the mouse moves around easily on a mouse mat, but when you let go, it stays put. That's pretty standard stuff for a budget gaming mouse, but it works well. Also underneath the optical sensor has an adjustable resolution of 800, 1600, 2400 and 3200 DPI. And you can set that how you want it by clicking the DPI button. If you're not sure what DPI does or what it is, well, simply put the lower the DPI, the slower the mouse will react on the screen. So if you need a slower, more careful kind of movement in a game, for example, you'd want to use a lower DPI. And if you want the mouse to react really fast, you'd set the DPI much higher. So anyway, that can be done by clicking the DPI button. And uh, also it has a nice braided cable, this mouse. So if it's looked after, I can actually see this lasting for quite a while. In total, there are actually seven programmable buttons with this mouse and you can set what each button does. And you do that using the Abconcore software for Windows. That's quite handy if you want to assign certain actions in a game, for example, to certain buttons on the mouse. And I've done that with Fortnite with no problem at all. So the RGB lighting effect. Well, Abconcore say that there are 16.8 million colors. Trust me, I'm not gonna count them, but there are a few different presets that you can cycle through. Uh, you get a very fast color cycle. You then get a wave mode, which is kind of like a slower color cycle, uh, a round trip mode, which looks cool, and chameleon mode, which is also quite nice. To cycle through these different modes, you just press the LED or RGB button. Now that works right out of the box, and you don't need to install the software in order to do that. And in fact, to adjust the DPI, you can also do that straight out of the box with no software needed. So that's really good. Looking slightly closer at the buttons, well, you get a good amount of feedback so you can feel when you've clicked a button. And I like the way they sound too. And if you want to know how the buttons sound, here's a quick clip. If you're planning on buying other Abconcore products, they kind of match quite well. And I've been using the CH55 gaming headset from Abconcore, which looks a little bit similar to this mouse. So perhaps if you're like me and you're the type of person that wants to have your peripherals matching, then these look fairly good together. So that's a quick look at the Astra AM6. And for a budget gaming mouse with RGB, I think Abconcore once again did a good job with this one. I really enjoy talking to you guys, so if you've got an Abconcore product, if you're thinking about buying one, or if you simply fancy a chat, leave me a comment down below and I'll catch up with you guys there. And if you enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. I'm Roger with Life of Tech. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, see you in the next one.